So in my previous video, I explained on what is two-factor authentication, how to set it up, and why should you have two-factor authentication enabled. But in today's video, we are going to talk about on what should you do if you don't have the access to the two-factor authentication code anymore. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, then I make videos regarding to Discord tips, tricks, and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level. So if you are someone new to Discord or if you want to learn some tips and tricks on how to use Discord or grow your server or so on, then make sure to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel to never miss my upcoming videos. As well, comment down below by letting me know that if you have enabled the two-factor authentication system after watching my previous video. Anyways, so let's hop into today's topic. So let's just say that, you know, you logged out of your Discord account through your desktop and you lost your phone or your phone is now broken and you can't really log into your desktop application anymore because when you log in, you have the two-factor authentication system enabled and basically you have to get the code from your phone. So there are several things that you can do. So the first thing is that double check if you are logged into your Discord account through any you know, device, you know, it may be through your desktop or your mobile application, maybe some browser, because if you are logged in, then you will be able to view your backup codes with your current password. Now, if by any chance you are logged in through your desktop and you have set up the two-factor authentication through your desktop, then there may be some chances you have downloaded the backup codes because that is highly recommended. So what you can do then is you can go to the search section below on your desktop and you can search discord underscore backup underscore codes dot txt. Now what this file basically is that when you set up the two-factor authentication system and you download the backup codes, discord basically saves all of the backup codes within this file on the notepad saved by this name. So you can just open this file and use one of these codes. Now, once you have the access to your account, what I highly recommend is that disable the two-factor authentication by going to user settings and then clicking on remove two-factor authentication. And then you will be prompted for a six-digit code. But since you don't have a phone number and instead you have a backup code, which are eight digits, then you don't have to worry because that will work as well. But just one thing, be sure to enter your backup codes without any space or dashes because spaces or dashes will cause you to see an invalid code error. So now once your two-factor authentication system is disabled, you can enable it again once you have a new phone or once you get your old phone back. And if you don't know how to enable the two-factor authentication, then you don't have to worry, you can just watch my video which I have explained on how to set up the two-factor authentication. However, there is one big main issue, and this is the very sad part of the video. If you don't have the access to your backup codes and you know, you're know you logged out of your account from everywhere, then Discord is actually unable to remove the two-factor authentication and you will have to create a new account. That is the very big issue, I know. So <laughs> Discord basically cannot remove the two-factor authentication or issue you a new backup code. So just keep that in mind. So if you have the two-factor authentication enabled, the first thing is please link your phone with the account so whenever you don't have the access to your account or you forgot your password or in some way your two-factor authentication is not working or something may happen, you know. So in that case, instead of just worrying around, you can just send a code to your phone where you can then use that code as a login password and then, you know, log into your account. Now, if you don't have the phone, then I highly recommend you guys again to download the backup codes just in case because, you know, they may just come in handy. They're just like, I don't know, six, eight, I think eight codes. You have to use it once every time. And I don't really think you're going to lose your phone eight times per a year or something. Just keep it just in case. And it's really good. It's really great to keep yourself safe and take extra precautions. So yeah that's all i would say anyways thank you for watching the video i hope it was really helpful if it was then please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like to this video as well let me know if there's any other tutorials or you know video you want me to make about 
then I will be happy to let you guys know. And if there is any question you guys want me to ask, then feel free to ask them below and I will try my best to answer them as much as possible. Anyways, thank you for watching and peace out.